Hey guys, I need to do a little uh, maintenance on my home server and I thought I'd make a quick video to show you uh, what I'm going to be doing. Let's get started. What I'm going to be doing is adding uh, an additional uh, 500 gig to my home server. Uh, I just happen to have a 500 gig drive laying around and it's collecting dust and uh, I figured I'd throw it in the home server and get some use out of it. Uh, with uh, the channel uh, and uh, all the video that I'm taking and just personal video that we've been doing from vacations and things like that, uh, I'm very quickly running out of space and uh, I thought it would be a good opportunity to uh, show you what uh, what is entailed I guess in uh, adding space and quick configuration here in the Windows Home Server so I thought I'd show you that. Alright so I've got the um, server out of the rack and on my workbench and I'm actually if I pan up just a little bit you can see that I am in my little workspace area which is pretty neat or pretty convenient anyways for me um, so uh, I've got a couple of videos about this case and uh, the process of moving this home server into this particular case so I'll try and link those um, so you can check those out one thing I really like about uh, this case are these little modular um, bays here for uh, hard drives so it should be relatively easy and painless to uh, to add the drive and uh, get it configured so I don't expect that this is going to take very long okay so this um, this bay uh, which can hold up to four drives and currently holds my uh, the three existing drives uh, are held in with these little tabs and it's pretty simple you just uh, hold these tabs down and then the front of this guy just slides out and uh, you take the whole piece out as an assembly uh, so I'll get rid of these cables or unplug the cables in the back and slide it out and uh, put the new drive in okay so here's the drive cage pulled out of the front and um, this is a 120 mil fan on the front and the uh, the three drives which are held in with these uh, little caddies and I've already got the drive in and they just slide in and snap in and then they're good to go alright so with the uh, the drive in I'll get this slid into place and uh, hook everything back up and that's all it takes very very easy alright I got everything put back together and when I did the initial power up test uh, this back fan here started making a really horrible sound um, too bad I wasn't uh, videotaping because it would have been interesting to show but um, uh, I kinda smacked it and the uh, sound stopped but that's probably not the, uh, the best way to fix something like that so uh, I'm gonna replace it I do have um, a spare 80 mil fan this is uh, an Antec three-speed fan that I bought I don't know a couple years ago um, it's got a uh, little speed controller manual speed uh, selector here for low medium high and just a standard um, oh, there you go uh, standard three plug uh, power so I do have a spare uh, fan plug on the motherboard that I'll tie into and uh, I'll pull this out and replace it here's the fan that I pulled out it's uh, aptly named super fan high quality long life low noise um, I guess I beg to differ so this will go in the trash and I'll replace it with that uh, Antec fan something that's really useful on uh, a lot of these fans is you got a couple of directional arrows so this arrow right here is um, the uh, direction that the fan blades move and this arrow here is the direction that the air is moving so as you can see that um, the air is going to be coming um, from inside the case 
and um, going that way outside the case. So the uh, Antec fan has got the same um, same helper uh, directional arrows and we'll just make sure that they're lined up correctly when we put it in. Alright so the fans in place and uh, I'll start this up again and that definitely sounds way better. One other thing that I ran into and again I didn't catch this on film unfortunately um, the drive that I added still had uh, an old install of XP and it was uh, sort of hijacking the boot process so what I had to do is get into the BIOS and um, change the uh, boot order of my hard drives to force the um, home server drive which is this top one here uh, to be the first one to get uh, to boot from so that it would uh, everything would start normally so with those changes in place I can actually um, get it to home server and I'll show you how to uh, how to add the uh, new drive alright so we're uh, started up okay and I'm gonna just log in and what we should see uh, once we start up is the uh, detection of a new drive <clears throat> and then we can add it now um, because I'm logged in directly to the home server here uh, we do get this caution but you know we could ignore this uh, this basically says you shouldn't be doing anything directly uh, on the server Windows uh, home server likes for you to make any changes to their uh, their console but um, anyways so we'll start up the console I think I double clicked on that. There it goes. Now, one of the things that you have uh, is server storage. And, yep, here's the, um, the drive that we added. And you'll notice that it's under non storage hard drives because it's not part of our um, list of available drives for. Uh, for usage. So what you do is you go to add and then you just follow the wizard. It's actually very very easy so it picks the guy that's uh, that's new and I'd like to uh, add the drive to server storage um, and uh, this is gonna go ahead and format the drive which is fine and uh, we'll, that will take some time and once it's done it'll be added to my my drive pool so I should see a nice little increase in uh, total storage here. So I'll let this run and uh, we'll uh, get this project wrapped up. Alright, so I lied. The uh, drive format was actually fairly quick. Um, I turned my head to uh, pause the camera and uh, when I uh, was looking at the clip just to make sure everything turned out okay, I, I noticed that it did switch over and complete um, so uh, that was actually very very fast so you see I'm adding something like uh, just under 500 gig of extra storage and I now have uh, 2.34 terabytes of total storage and 66% uh, of that uh, which is about 1.6 terabytes at least according to the graph there uh, is free space uh, so I've got a bunch of extra space now to uh, uh, you know for all the extra uh, video and extra stuff that I'm backing up so that's a nice little bump so last thing I need to do is uh, power this down put the cover back on and stick it back in the rack and uh, then we'll be all set thanks for watching everybody